Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News, bringing you a Grand Solar Minimum Update Wednesday, April 15th, 3 a.m. Mountain Time, 2020. The models are in, and they're showing snow. Ho, ho, ho. Take a look at this little strip through April 20th. That's not funny if. A record Easter snowfall for Eau Claire, Wisconsin. Easter snow, ho, ho, ho. The late season winter storm that produced accumulating snow for much of Sunday, which was a fun day, will finally be moving up into the Great Lakes tonight into early Monday. Snow will be coming to an end after record Easter snowfall. Iowa cities set Easter snowfall records several with more than six inches. And it's not going to end there. There's more snow coming. Record cold for Denver. Record snow for Boulder. I never even told her. Updated the April 14th, which is yesterday. Boulder hits 134.3 inches of snow for the season. Less than nine inches from the snowiest ever recorded. Less than nine inches than the snowiest ever recorded. Colorado Springs sets record low temperatures ahead of more snow. Ho, ho, ho. Rochester, New York, record snow has been replaced by record cold. 130,000 lose power in Massachusetts as severe storms bring down trees Dozens are dead, and it's still happening. Now, the major power outages are in Arkansas right now, over almost 100,000 out of power, and the entire East Coast affected. Take a look. As cold and rain dominates, planters sit on the sidelines this week. No plant, ho -han. National Weather Service, snowfall analysis from the last 24 hours. Hours of powers are showing Texas, the nexus of the Schmexus, the big winner with 12 inches in the entire country. Backing it up, central New Mex with 8 inches. 12 inches in the nexus of the Schmexus. Holy macaroni. Let's take a look at the U.S. Thunderstorms for parts of the southeast coast. Heavy snow for the Rockies. Wow, look at those frost and freeze warnings. I do digress. A few strong or marginally severe thunderstorms capable of gusty winds will be possible over the far southeast Georgia and over parts of Florida Wednesday. Heavy snow will shift over the northern and central Rockies Wednesday into Thursday, and much of the nation from the Rockies to the east will see all of their early crops frozen to death, and they'll have to replant. We're talking 14 states in over 1,000 counties with freeze warnings. You add 2,000 counties, 15 states to the frost warnings. And you're going to lose some crops, folks. Yes, you are. There's the big hit right there. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And it's boom time. Are you in the strip? Drop in noise pollution means a data boom for earthquake scientists. Yeah, we're all inside. And we're still not triggering quakes. Can you imagine that? The big shocker, Magna Utah 4.2 aftershock. Getting some panties in a bunch. And we've been warning about South America for some time. Something big is about to blast off down there. Worldwide Volcano News Update. Popo, 21,000 feet. Suanosima, 400 feet. Are you kidding me? Seven Kaya at 27,000. Samaru, well, who knew? 14,000 foot to the boom. Kluchaskov just went off to 23,000 feet. It's been blowing to over 20,000 at least every 24 hours. Three eruptions above 20,000 in the last 24. Al Gorzahor. 
archaeologists solved the mystery of ancient decorated ostrich eggs. This is awesome. Now, these engraved, painted, and embellished with ivory and precious metals. These eggs are amazing. Similar to the Ukrainian eggs, which happened, well, there's no dates here. So God knows when these happened. Hundreds, if not thousands of years ago. But the colleagues examined these decorated eggs. And here's the scientific paper with no dates. So we don't know where they're from. But they're ancient. And what they show is that the people that collected these eggs collected them from live ostriches. They were not farming them, which is very dangerous. I don't know if you've ever been around an emu or an ostrich, but they will you up, period. So at great risk of life and limb, these eggs were collected, dried, stored, then carved and embellished in such a way that we like to say, hey, hey, the origins of decorated ostrich eggs in the ancient Mediterranean and Middle East prove that you've been lied to. <laughs> Shocking research threatens our understanding of dark matter and all of plasma physics. All of astronomy and our, all of cosmology, in fact, because hundreds of billions of dollars have been delved out to scientists to prove that dark matter exists, the guard, the God particle, and that could have felt that could have fed the entire Earth for decades. But we would rather dump money into a bunch of corrupt scientists that don't deliver than to feed the people. Period. That's the world you live in. Feed the corrupt scientists and the corporations. Starve the populace. Hope you got something out of the video. Boom! Yeah. That's what it's all about. The big broom, boom to the brain. If you don't get it, we can't give it to you. And if we can't shrink it, well, who can? Look at how easy that is. Do you see how you just click on it? Just click on it. Boom! Knowledge. It's hard to get, but if you stick with it, it'll come. Dark matter, not so much. Hundreds of billions of dollars wasted. Everyone knows it doesn't exist, and yet they still give them money. Isn't that funny? Share this with like minded people that are sick of money being wasted on idiots. It's the human population that matters. If we're not here, well, then who's here? Who's buying? I'm not crying. I left mainstream years ago because I knew it was about to happen. And we've been warning you for three years. So if you've been sitting on your rears, that's your fault. And don't give me that. I can't do it. I left Pennsylvania with no money, no job, and no future. Go get it. Go get it now.